G'day everyone, Ian Fegan here, also known as Professor Shoelace. Today's video is about shoe shop lacing. Now when I was growing up, you would often see this lacing method in shoe shops because a lot of shoes actually came pre-laced that way from the factory. Don't see it so much nowadays, but the name's still stuck. Now I'll show you this lacing method on my Ian Shoelace site. I'll just zoom up to the diagram. And you can see, if I animate it, it's basically one end running diagonally from bottom to top, the other end zigzagging through the remaining eyelets and tied off at the top of the shoe. Now let's look at that on a real shoe. I've started with both ends feeding in straight across the bottom and feeding in through the bottom eyelets. And the left end I've got fairly short and the right end about twice as long. And the reason for that is that the left end I'm going to run diagonally straight up the inside and out through the top eyelet. So we don't need much length there. The other end I'm going to run diagonally up the inside and out through the next higher eyelet. Then we'll continue straight across the outside in through the adjacent eyelet. Again, diagonally up the inside and out through the next higher eyelet, straight across the outside and in through the adjacent eyelet. Now, at the moment on a shoe like this with a wide spacing, you can see all those underlying bits but if you have a dress shoe that has uh, the sides closer together, all those diagonal underlying bits will be hidden. You have a much neater result. In any case, at the top of the shoe, tie it off. I'm using my ear knot, the world's fastest shoelace knot. And it does look a little bit asymmetrical but if you lace your other shoe in reverse as a mirror image, you'll end up with a sort of a balanced result on both shoes. Anyway, that's Shoe Shop Lacing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more information, diagrams, instructions, animations, you name it, you can go to Ian's Shoelace site.